वेलकम व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू आफ्टर हैक वीडियो सीरीज वीडियो फाइव इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक अ बैकडोर ऑन अ रिमोट कंप्यूटर एज यू ऑल रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लुक डीपली इन टू द नेट एपीआई वेलनरेबिलिटी ऑफ विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो वट वी विल डू इज वी विल क्रिएट अ बैकडोर एंड इंस्टॉल एंड अपलोड इट ओवर द रिमोट विक्टम कंप्यूटर and will access the remote computer whenever the remote victim logs in and so on and so forth in this particular module what we will do is we will create a backdoor and then encode the backdoor file why we will encode the backdoor file is because to bypass the antivirus situations next we will upload the file on the remote victim computer and then we will have fun so let's start hacking I hope you all are enjoying the videos, right? So this is my meter printer. Sorry, this is MSF console session. I will be using Metasploit framework like always, like previous videos which I have made. What we will do is let's search the Net API vulnerability. I think now you all know very deeply into the Net API. What is Net API? How we will exploit it? how it was started what was the patch given to this vulnerability so let's see what we will do is let's use set a payload i'll do it a bind tcp see the options and here it is the l host and r host is required and let's exploit what it is doing is it is trying to access the remote victim and it access the remote web victim exploited the net api vulnerability and yes we are in so what further we will do is we will create our backdoor file we will set a payload on that particular file we will give some bytes some instructions whatever we want to execute on the remote victim when remote computer when a victim logs in and then we will encode it I will be using x86 encoder that is Shikata G A N A I encoder. I will tell about the Shikata encoder when I will write the encoder. Let's see what is to be done next. Now let's start creating our backdoor file. i will be using msf payload and that is meter preter and reverse tcp i'll set a l host 192.168.204.140 and i'll set a l port which is equal to 4444 and then i'll define it as a remote I'll MSF encode. I will encode it. Encoding using the number of bytes which I want to use is this x double zero. I will use. I will make it executable. Further, what I need is I have made a byte. I have assigned the byte. I have made it executable. What more I can do is. i can define various encoders i can define various other things which can be done so i'll encode it using the x86 encoder why i am using this shikata encoder is because it uses a dynamic distribution of the instructions substitution of the instructions and dynamic block ordering in simple words it 
performs a polymorphic zor function over the four byte key and this helps our backdoor file to be undetected by the antivirus softwares and i want to encode it this is the encoding count 6 i need to declare the output where this file should be created let's say it is root and the file name as you suggest it's hackwave.exe i am using hackwave the name always is that because this is for you all to change according to your own use so let's start and we will see the file is encoded six times here you can see the encoding now it's time to check whether our file is created or not so i'll do a simple ls command root and here i need to find hackwave.exe is created so my backdoor is created now what i need next is to upload this hackwave.exe file to our remote victim how we can do is by using we can use various commands like upload here is the upload command either i can use uh, schedule me command here are the various options which we can use so let's try some of these options but before this option i want to start my handler so that when the file is executed over the remote victim computer i will get the session the meterpreter session because the payload which i have set is the meterpreter reverse tcp payload so for this i started the msf console again i will use exploit slash multi handler i'll set a payload which is like always reverse tcp let's see the options this is l host is required which is our ip 192.168.1.1 dot 140 over the port 4444 and it is started let's exploit and the payload is started and it is listening over the port 4444 now what we need is we need to upload our file so let's upload uploading the file from the root folder and the file name is hackwave.exe to where i want to store the file is the address i have copied earlier here this is the address why i am using this address is because i want my file to be stored on the startup folder so that whenever the victim computer is on i will get the meterpreter session I think there is a problem somewhere in the settings or user start menu. Let's check it again. Why this problem occurred? One thing I can do is just use the Windows folder. Sometimes it creates problem. So what we will do is. we'll save it in windows folder and it is uploaded let's try the shell command created the shell cd dot dot directory here i have the hackwave file what i will do is now i will save it there and the file is copied at the startup so 
what is going to be done is let's fix it here i'm back at the meter operator session here you can see our victim machine is on what moreover i can do is few seconds you have to wait let me show you the file which i have made and stored and here you can see that here is the hackweight.exe file this is our handler which is listening for the session and this is where i have created the payload now let's reboot the computer here you can see that this machine is rebooted automatically because i was operating this machine from the metasploit framework meterpreter session let this file start in the remote handler you can see the handler is listening what we need is we need to activate the windows on that particular windows xp system because i think it is expiring i am not a pirate that's why i am not activating windows but i know how to activate a window and i have shown that in the previous video for the educational purpose you can watch that video you can see that it is starting let us wait for the victim to log in and here here you can see that the victim logged in and we will see our meter operator session here the meter operator session is created and we are into the victim's computer again as soon as he logged in let's see this is the there was a problem i think it's not an issue i think there is a problem in this but no problem actually we are into the system so i hope you all enjoyed the video of creating a backdoor you get the concept of encoder we have used shikata encoder because it used a dynamic this is an instruction substitution and dynamic block ordering and polymorphic zoring and then we have uploaded our backdoor to the remote computer so this is how hackers attempt the hack and maintains a backdoor in the remote computers and uh, the websites and web servers remain vulnerable regular so that's all for this video please give comments and feedbacks i hope you all enjoyed this video in the next video session we will deal with some more privilege escalations and more commands which we can use using the metasploit framework under the after hack condition after hack video series thanks a lot